Imagine waking up to find a bridge that wasn't there yesterday, or a skyscraper that seems to have grown overnight. In China, this isn't science fiction, it's reality. In the time it takes you to watch this video, China will have laid down kilometers of new railway tracks, erected sections of towering skyscrapers, and possibly even completed a bridge or two through the power of mega machines that defy imagination. But before we get into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Meet Tian Kun Hao, the magic island maker. This massive dredging vessel is the largest of its kind in Asia, and it's literally reshaping China's coastline. The Tian Kun Hao is 140 meters, 460 feet long, 27.8 meters, 91 feet wide, and can dredge up to 6,000 cubic meters per hour from depths of up to 35 meters or 115 feet. To put that into perspective, it could fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool in just 20 minutes. But what exactly does it do? Well, the Tian Kun Hao sucks up sand, mud, and rock from the seafloor and pumps it through a pipeline to create new land. It's been instrumental in China's island building projects in the South China Sea, expanding ports and creating new industrial zones along the coast. The vessel cost about $170 million to build and was launched in 2017. It's been dubbed the Magic Island Maker because of its ability to create land where there was once only sea. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Isn't this kind of thing bad for the environment? And you'd be right to ask that. While these machines are incredible engineering feats, their use raises important questions about environmental impact and geopolitical tensions. It's a complex issue and definitely something worth discussing in the comments below. But for now, let's move on to our next mega machine, one that's helping China reach new heights, literally. Let's start with a true titan of bridge construction, the SLJ 900-32, affectionately known as the Iron Monster. This behemoth weighs a staggering 580 tons and spans 91 meters or 300 feet. But what makes the Iron Monster genuinely remarkable is its versatility and efficiency. With 64 wheels distributed across four sections, each capable of rotating 90 degrees, this machine can move in ways you wouldn't believe possible for something of its size. It can lay a new bridge segment every 24 minutes, allowing China to construct bridges at a rate that would make most countries' heads spin. The SLJ 900-32 isn't just big, it's smart. It can construct up to 730 bridge spans in its lifetime, a feat that would have taken years using traditional methods. And it can be disassembled and customized for various projects, making it a true workhorse of China's infrastructure boom. Projects that once took years can now be completed in months, dramatically accelerating the pace of infrastructure development. This has been particularly crucial for China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, connecting vast swathes of the country and beyond. But it's not just about speed. The precision and consistency offered by the Iron Monster have also improved the quality and safety of bridge construction. By reducing the need for scaffolding and minimizing human error, these machines are making bridge building safer and more reliable than ever before. Next up, we have the Kunlun, a machine that takes bridge construction to new heights. This 1,000-ton level bridge girder erection machine is a marvel of engineering, weighing 967 metric tons and stretching 116 meters or 380 feet long. The Kunlun was built to construct China's first cross-sea high-speed railway bridge, this machine isn't just big, it's incredibly sophisticated, comprising over 15,000 parts and incorporating advanced intelligence to integrate multiple functions seamlessly. One of the most impressive features of the Kunlun is its ability to withstand extreme weather conditions. Designed to operate in coastal environments, this machine can withstand hurricane-level winds, ensuring that construction can continue safely even in challenging situations. The development of machines like the Kunlun represents a significant leap forward in China's construction capabilities. It's not just about building bigger, it's about building smarter, with machines that can adapt to complex environments and deliver results in even the most challenging circumstances. Now, 
let's shift our focus from bridges to railways with the CYP500, a machine that's redefining the speed of railway construction. This rapid track laying machine can lay down an astonishing two kilometers of tracks in a single day. Traditional methods might lay down a few hundred meters of track in a day. The CYP500 is literally fast-tracking China's high-speed rail network, which is already the largest in the world and still growing rapidly. The impact of machines like the CYP500 on China's infrastructure cannot be overstated. By dramatically reducing the time and labor required to lay railway tracks, these machines have made it possible for China to build a high-speed rail network that spans tens of thousands of kilometers in just a few decades. This rapid expansion of rail infrastructure has had far-reaching effects on China's economy and society, connecting cities, facilitating trade, and changing how millions of people travel and do business. Next, let's go underground with the CRCHI tunneling machine, a true giant of subterranean construction. With a diameter of 15 meters, it's among the widest tunneling machines in the world. But size isn't everything. This machine is a powerhouse with an installed power of about 9,755 kilowatts and a rated torque of 42,784 newton meters. It can tunnel and lay down tunnel walls simultaneously with a maximum excavation speed of 50 millimeters per minute. The CRCHI tunneling machine and others like it have been instrumental in China's infrastructure development, particularly in mountainous regions. These machines have made it possible to create extensive underground transportation networks, including subway systems in major cities and tunnels for high-speed rail lines through challenging terrain. The ability to quickly and efficiently create underground passages has not only improved transportation, but also opened up new possibilities for urban planning and development. Standing over 40 meters high and weighing nearly 2,000 tons, the Bonant, or Bonad, is a true giant among construction machines. This incredible machine is designed to construct high-rise buildings, changing the game in urban development. The Bonant is more than just a big machine. It's a technological marvel. The development team behind it obtained eight patents and published five articles on its technologies, highlighting the innovation that goes into these mega machines. Machines like the Bonant are at the forefront of China's vertical expansion. As cities grapple with growing populations and limited space, the ability to build taller, faster, and more efficiently becomes crucial. The Bonant and machines like it are making it possible to create the super tall skyscrapers that are becoming increasingly common in China's major cities. Moreover, these machines improve safety and efficiency in high-rise construction, reducing worker risks and accelerating project timelines. Let's now turn our attention to a true giant of the construction world, the XCMG 4,000-ton crawler crane. This is one of the world's largest crawler cranes, capable of lifting up to 4,000 tons of material that would have been considered impossible just a few years ago. To give you an idea of just how powerful this crane is, consider this. It can lift the equivalent of 4,000 average cars, that's not just impressive, it's game-changing. This level of lifting capacity opens up new possibilities in construction, allowing for larger, prefabricated components that can dramatically speed up building times. The XCMG 4,000-ton crawler crane isn't just about raw power, but also precision. Despite its enormous size, it can place loads with millimeter accuracy. This combination of strength and precision makes it invaluable in a wide range of construction projects, from building nuclear power plants to erecting wind turbines. The introduction of cranes like this has had a ripple effect across the construction industry. It's not just about being able to lift heavier loads, it's about rethinking entire construction processes. Components that once had to be assembled on site can now be prefabricated elsewhere and lifted into place saving time and improving quality control. Meet ZoomLion ZCC, 32,000 crawler crane, another one of the world's largest crawler cranes with a maximum lifting capacity of 3,200 tons. 
This crane could lift the Statue of Liberty, pedestal and all, and still have the capacity to spare. It stands 178 meters, 583 feet tall, when fully extended, which is about the height of a 60-story building. The ZCC 32000 was first unveiled in 2020 and has since been used in various large-scale construction projects across China, particularly in the energy sector. It played a crucial role in the installation of wind turbines, the construction of nuclear power plants, and the assembly of large chemical processing units. One of its most notable features is its modular design. This allows it to be easily transported and assembled on site, which is crucial given its massive size. It can also be configured in different ways depending on the specific requirements of each project. Despite its enormous size, this crane offers incredible precision. Its advanced control systems allow operators to place loads with millimeter accuracy, which is crucial for the delicate work of assembling nuclear reactors. Every time I see machines like this in action, I'm reminded of those toy cranes I used to play with as a kid. Except this one could probably lift my entire childhood home without breaking a sweat. But we're not done yet. Our next machine takes us underground, and it's a real gem in the world of mining. Meet the WK-12, the walking bucket wheel excavator. This colossal machine is used in open pit mining, changing the game in China's coal industry. The WK-12 stands 31 meters, 101 feet high, and 210 meters, 688 feet long, and weighs 6,000 tons. Despite its massive size, this beast can actually move. It's equipped with a walking mechanism that allows it to slowly walk across the mining site. The star of the show is its massive bucket wheel, which is 22 meters, 72 feet in diameter, and equipped with 12 buckets. This wheel can excavate up to 12,000 cubic meters of material per hour. That's enough to fill about five Olympic-sized swimming pools. However, what makes the WK-12 truly unique is its ability to operate continuously. Unlike traditional excavators that need to stop to dump their loads, the WK-12 uses a conveyor belt system to transport excavated material away from the site continuously. The Taiwan Heavy Industry Group developed this machine. First, it deployed in 2019 at the Haidaigu Open Pit Coal Mine in Inner Mongolia. Its introduction has significantly increased mining efficiency and reduced labor costs. I know we've been throwing a lot of numbers at you, but I hope you're getting a sense of just how massive and powerful these machines are. They're not just big for the sake of being big. They're solving real engineering challenges and pushing the boundaries of what's possible in construction. But we have one more machine to cover, and it might be the most impressive yet. The Mega TBM for the Sichuan Tibet Railway. Remember the tunnel boring machine we talked about at the beginning? Well, this one makes that look like a toy drill. This yet to be named tunnel boring machine is being built specifically for the Sichuan Tibet Railway project, and it's set to be the largest and most powerful TBM ever created. We have yet to get all the specs as they are still in development, but here's what we know. This machine will need to bore through the Himalayan mountains, dealing with extreme geological conditions, including high ground stress, high geothermal heat, and the risk of rock bursts. The tunnel it's building will be part of the Sichuan-Tibet Railway. This 1118-mile, 1,800-kilometer line will connect Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province, with Lhasa in Tibet. The project is expected to cost about $47.8 billion and is slated to be completed by 2030. What makes this TBM truly unique is that it's being designed to work at high altitudes in low oxygen environments. It will need to bore through various rock types, from soft clay to hard granite, while dealing with potential earthquakes and extreme temperature variations. While we don't have an exact price for this machine yet, Given its size and capabilities, it will likely be the most expensive TBM ever built. As seen throughout this video, China's construction industry is at the forefront of technological innovation, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in engineering and construction. From the Iron Monster bridging rivers to the world's most powerful tunnel boring machine, these mega machines are not just building infrastructure, 
but shaping the future. The rapid pace of development we've witnessed in China over the past few decades would not have been possible without these incredible machines. As we look to the future, it's clear that the evolution of construction technology will continue to accelerate. The machines we've discussed today may seem incredible, but they're likely just the beginning. Who knows what marvels of engineering we'll see in the coming years? What do you think about these mega machines and the future of construction technology? Are you excited about the possibilities they represent? Or are you concerned about their impact? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. As always, thanks for watching.